Hello, my name is Keith All, and um, today I'm going to be speaking about how you can build a simple opt-in form using the Builder All platform. And I'll also show you how you can attach or configure uh, an email subscriber list from your autoresponder to that opt-in form. So we're in the Builder All uh, dashboard right now, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be coming over here to the top where it says Builders. Click on this down arrow, and I'm going to uh, be selecting the drag and drop pixel perfect option. And then I'm going to uh, select the new website. Give it a second here. And um, I'm just going to search for a simple ebook funnel. So I'm going to type in the filter here, ebook. And it falls under the sales funnel. And I'm going to select ebook funnel. So it brings it up over here to your right. Give it a second to load the uh, image. And then you have the choice of either viewing it or editing it and uh, basically viewing it is just if you want to open it up to see what it looks like if you already know what it's uh, this is the one that you want to work with just click on edit and it opens up a new tab for you give it a second while it loads and I'm not going to go into do uh, too much detail um, this alert here is basically it's asking you to configure your information for your email marketing. So you can just close out of this dialog box. But anyways, I'm not going to go into detail how you can edit this entire um, uh, page on this particular funnel. I'm just going to show you uh, basically how you can uh, change this image. And then uh, we're going to configure this uh, box here, this element, on how you can configure it to your particular uh, email autoresponder. Uh, in my case, I'm going to attach it to the Builder autoresponder, and their own autoresponder is called Mailing Boss. So here I'm just going to uh, click on this image. I'm doing a right click. And I'm going to uh, change the image. It'll bring up a dialog box where you, you have the option of uh, uploading your own images. And I already previously uploaded an image. So I'm just going to go ahead and select it over here. Click on confirm. And then just adjust where you want to place it on your funnel here and now I'm gonna configure uh, this element right down here um, so it attaches to my mailing boss autoresponder subscriber list so basically what you want to do is you want to uh, right click on this element and what you want to do is select configure Okay, before I could do that, it's telling me I, I need to save this form because I made changes to it. So I'm going to go up here to the upper right and click on save. It's going to ask me to name it. I'm just going to call it ebook test. Okay, it just brings up a dialog box saying the save changes. Uh, um, have been saved click on that and then it just basically gives you an alert to let you know the changes may not take effect if you've published it uh, for another a few minutes so I'm going to right click on this element here now I want to configure it to my particular autoresponder for today's purposes, I'm going to use Builder All's autoresponder called Mailing Boss. But as you can see, you have many options here. And you also have other platforms that you can choose from. So I'm going to select Mailing Boss. And what it's going to do is going to already go into my Mailing Boss dashboard. And 
give me a list of all my subscriber lists that I have already set up. So I'm just going to tie it to this uh, test ebook list. And then I'm going to go up to the upper right and click on save. Click save here. And again, it's just an alert to let you know that the changes may not take effect for a few minutes. So basically, that's all you have to do to create a simple opt-in form and attach your subscriber list in your own particular autoresponder to this particular page on this uh, funnel. What I'm going to do now is, as you can see, this uh, opt-in form, uh, when I configured the um, uh, my subscriber list, uh, to this particular form, as you can see, it has the email first and then the first name. So typically what you want to do is you want to ask for the uh, uh, person's name first up here and then the email second. So I'm going to show you quickly how you could actually change that. Um, again, since I'm using Mailing Boss, uh, this is a good tutorial for you to do so. So I'm going to switch over. And then I'm going to come over here to the left. And in this menu section over to the left, I'm going to click on Mailing Boss. And then I'm going to open up the Mailing Boss dashboard. And from here, I'm going to uh, go on up here to my um, top menu selection here I'm going to click on list I'm just going to click list again and I want the list view and what I want to do is I want to be able to edit the uh, the one that I attach to this particular uh, funnel this opt-in page so I'm going to come back here, go over to the right, and I'm going to click on Update. And then over to the right here, you have what uh, this down arrow it says Quick Link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select List Custom Fields. And over here is my fields for this particular subscriber list. In other words, these are the fields that I'm going to capture from my opt-in page. As you can see, I'm collecting the email address and the first name. So I'm going to come back here to Mailing Boss. Here's my email and here's my first name. So what do you need to do in order to change this order of it? Over here to the right, it says sort order and right now the way the programmer set this up a zero means that it's going to be the first field on your opt-in form and one is going to be then the second field showing so what I want to do is I want to uh, uh, have my first name as the first field email as my second field so what I do is just change the sort order I'm going to uh, select zero. Give me a second here so I can scroll up. There's zero. And now I'm going to make this email the second field. So now, now watch what happens when I save this form. It's going to uh, um, flip these. As you can see now, the first name is shown as the first field, and the email field is the second field. Now what you need to do to update your form, your funnel page, is you need to reconfigure it, select configure, select, 
and then select the list and as you can see now it changed this uh, the order of the fields now I got my first name first and then my uh, email second and don't forget to save it and that's all you need to do in order to um, create a simple opt-in form using the builder all platform and then also attaching or configuring the fields that you want to collect from the user uh, to the mailing boss autoresponder in this particular case. So I'm glad you stopped by today. Make sure you like the video and um, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notifications so you always get notified when I upload a new video. Um, and also, too, just to let you know, this was being recorded on um, November 27, 2018. So if you wind up coming to this video sometime later and um, you try to do this on your own and it looks a little bit different, just uh, let you know that the interface may have changed from now and until you see this. So again, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good evening.